Mean, really? We, we, we back on this? So, you think President Obama is a secret Muslim from Kenya? You know what? I'm not even going to discredit you. I mean, President Obama said he was born in America, but how does he know he was a baby? How does he know he was a baby? I mean, psh, of course he released original documents, you know, his birth certificate showing he was born in Hawaii, but everybody knows only thing you need is Photoshop and a time machine and you can make them shits up yourself. That's all you need. I mean, his dad is from Africa, so what else could it be? But a, but a Muslim, right? I mean, hell. Of course, he went to church with Oprah, and he got nailed for that Jeremiah Wright scandal in a Christian church. And plus, he's killed more Muslims with drone strikes than Bush and Cheney combined. But that was a cover-up to cover his tracks so everybody else wouldn't catch him. But you know what? Mr. Obama is a Muslim socialist born in Kenya. Conspiracy theorist guy. I'm going to help you sleep well tonight. Because under the U.S. Constitution, that shit don't even matter. So, to become U.S. President, there's three requirements. First, you gotta be 35 years old to run for the office. You gotta live in America 14 consecutive years. That's a requirement. And the third requirement is you have to be a natural born citizen. So, what's a natural born citizen? Taking my research from the Congressional, um, Congressional Research Committee, to be a natural born citizen, Basically, what you have to do is have one parent that's American. Yes. So, case in point, I live in Japan right now. Yes. So, let's say I meet a chick from Egypt. And, you know, we and have a baby. Now, when that baby is born, that baby is not Japanese because we had the baby in Japan. We can go to the embassy and register that baby to be Egyptian or American or to have dual citizenship but because I'm American and my baby was born in Japan he's American though he has the right to be American so what that means is people like Ted Cruz who was actually born in another country by an immigrant father can actually run for president it's no problem all right, one of the second things I always hear about Obama is he's a Muslim. Well, you know what? The last time I checked on the U.S. Constitution, you have the right to choose whatever religion you want to. And, you know, case in point, what's America's national religion? We have no national religion. That's one of the views of being American. Now, I hear people say Obama's a socialist. I just don't know how that can be. Maybe we don't know the definition of socialism, maybe we should look it up, but the stock market has hit all-time record highs under this man's watch, so I'm not getting the socialist connection. But you know, hey, I'm doing this to help you out, conspiracy theorist guy, so hopefully you can sleep well tonight. Now, after hearing all this, and if you still feel like in your heart that Obama's presidency is not legitimate, then at that point, you got to admit with, we already know. You got a problem with a black man being president, and that was too much change for you. There ain't nothing wrong with saying that. Just admit it. You'll feel good about yourself. Black man president, you don't like it. And anything that man do and say is not going to be good enough. Just get it off your chest. But hey, you ain't got to listen to me. <laughs> I'm just a dumb rapper. By the way, if you like my video, please subscribe. And take a little time out your busy day to watch my music video, Dreams, Future in My Way. I'm quite sure you'll like it. DJ L Spade, I'm back.